Welcome back. This is a follow up to the video that described floating point numbers, uh, the basic concept behind floating point numbers. In this video, we will look at the IEEE standard, uh, which is uh, which describes floating point numbers in 32 bits, and uh, this is referred to as single precision. Uh, to contrast what is double precision for very demanding scientific applications when you need a higher precision in the representation of your floating point number. So the idea um, behind this standard then is uh, if you recall a floating point number from the previous uh, video, a floating point number can be represented in can be represented in the normalized scientific notation, scientific format, if you will, as, uh, and particularly in binary, it can be represented as a number that looks like plus or minus it could be a positive or negative number and it has a 1 followed by a fraction this is where the idea of normalization comes that is we express it in such a form that we always have a single digit to the left of our of our fraction and this is multiplied by some 2 to the power of some what we call as an exponent um, so, for example, the, the one we worked out in, in the previous video is, uh, is the number 1.011101 times 2 to the 2, which we um, computed to be equal to uh, 5.8125. So, what we're going to do uh, then is look at how what the IEEE standard says uh, that we have to, uh, if I want to express this as a 32-bit number, how I would do that. Well, the IEEE standard is a pretty complex standard that takes about, talks about all kinds of cases, but the, the, the normalized case is the one we're going to focus in this video. So I'm only only focusing on the normalized case. There are some exceptional cases uh, which we will cover in class. Um, so the fundamental idea then is that we will write a number as a 32-bit number where a single digit is assigned. So one bit is assigned for the sign And as, as always, a uh, plus or minus corresponds to a 0 or 1. And then we have 8 bits that make up the, what we call as exponent. And we have that's our exponent. But we will see that this exponent has a special format it has to follow that is derived from the exponent that it's in a different form. And we'll see what that is. And then we have a fraction which is which is 23 bits so so let's look at how we would express this number that we have already expressed in the scientific form but we want to do it in the IEEE standard form so right off the bat we know that we're going to represent this as a, a zero because it's a positive number that's the positive number followed by we know that the fractional part is going to be 0 1 1 1 0 1 which is that is already six digits out of the 23 and there will be 17 zeros after that now let's see what I mean by the exponent being a different beast that is First, we notice that the exponent is has 8 bits in it, so 8-bit exponent. Um, so the idea of the exponent uh, is that the exponent can be not just a positive number like it's in this case, but I could have a different number where I might have a negative exponent. So the natural thing one would 
assume is we would have a signed exponent. The exponent can be a positive or negative number. So, so your intuition would say, well, why not use a two's complement representation, right? Two's complement to represent represent the exponent in eight bits signed. Well, unfortunately, the IEEE standard does not use this format. In fact, what the IEEE standard does is it says that we will use this format called a biased expression. So the biased expression, so, so the assumption is that when we write this number, first we'll, we'll see that with 8 bits we can go from 0, that's all 8 bits being zeros, to all 8 bits being 1s, which basically tells us that our range of values is from 0 to 255. Now, the IEEE standard says that these extreme exponents are have a special meaning. So everything that sits in between, which is a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, which is a 1, to uh, 0 followed by all sorry one followed by a bunch of zeros and one because that's the last one before we get to the 255 which is 254 these are only ones we used in the normalized okay so we're only going to focus on that what is more what it also says is that our exponent that we write here is going to be a this quote unquote is going to be a biased exponent in other words the 2 that I want to write here I don't write it as 2 but I write it with a bias added to it so the bias added to it makes it 2 becomes in its biased expression so this is the actual exponent but in a biased version of it, it will be 2 plus a bias that you add to it. And the bias that the IEEE standard says we have to use is 127. So we add 127 to it. So 2 is expressed as not as 2 but as 129. Now the idea behind this is that when we have, we can now represent both positive and negative exponents in other words your 0 0 0 0 or just all zeros with a 1 is going to be the smallest negative number which is which is a which represents the smallest negative number and are all ones followed by a 0 which will be the largest positive exponent that we express. So the idea of, of this bias is that half of these will be negative numbers and half of this will represent positive numbers. That's the basic idea behind it. In general, the bias is given by the expression 2 to the e minus 1 minus 1, where e is the number of, e is number of bits in exponent. So that is where we got our number which is a 2 to the e which is 8 minus 1 minus 1 which is 128 minus 1 which is 127. That's where we got it from. So in any in any way uh, uh, let's let's plug that in and we now say that this is 129 that I have to write here so 129 which is in base 10 then this is 
the same as what remember 129 is 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 the reason I know that is because I know that the highest power of 2 is 128 which is at bit 8 look bit 7 location and bit 0 is 1 because 128 plus 1 is 129 so I write this as 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 so to summarize our number which is this number here is expressed in the standard format IEEE standard format like so so let's see let's see if we can um, write a general expression then. so if in general then if I'm given a 32 num bit number in the IEEE standard format with a sign bit a biased exponent and a fraction I can generalize it and say that this stuff this one represents minus 1 to the power of s the, that's because if the number is a, a z it's a positive number s is 0 so that's minus 1 to the 0 which is 1 times the fraction we remember it's normalized so that's one point the fraction times 2 to the power of the biased exponent minus the actual bias that has been added to it when it was expressed in the bias form so let's let's apply this this formula to see if we can get back the original number so when I do that I get a minus 1 in this particular case the number has as a positive number so that's what the sign says times 1.011101 times 2 to the power of and that happens to be a 129 so that's 129 minus 127 so that gives me a 1.011101 times 2 to the 2 which is 101.1101 times there's not times this is what it is in base 2 and which we know already that this represents the number 5 plus that has a 0 0.2 0.5 place value plus 0 0.25 plus that has a 0 0.0625 which is 1 over 16 1 over 4 1 over 2 so that gives me a 5.8125 which is exactly what I started with so in a to, to summarize the IEEE standard talks about not just the normalized case but these exception cases these two are my exception cases but we will only cover these in class but the more general case is the normalized case which is what we have represented here.